across the state told to stay home. But what about the folks who don't have a home to go to? KPI X5's Wilson Walker on what's happening to those still on the streets. Wilson? Well, Liz, uh, to my left is South of Market, and to my right is the Tenderloin. Uh, these two neighborhoods have been at the, the middle of a collision of challenges for San Francisco for many years. We have been showing you these problems for many years. We'll now lay on top of that the coronavirus threat. So what do these neighborhoods look like? How are the, citizen, uh, the most vulnerable citizens in this city faring? Have a look. When I come in the morning, I usually see, like, people camped out here here and it was a big old thing there nobody here no wow. no so they must have been put in shelters or somewhere in south of market the sidewalks are carrying fewer people but they are certainly not empty you see you see a few like stragglers but as far as like the crowd it's all different right now what has changed is this the people are sticking out like sore thumbs Business owner Jason Paul is still trying to serve his loyal customers one at a time. He says many of those still outside represent the most vulnerable. It's the same suspects. It's the people that are that are already struggling uh, in a crisis um, that are on the streets nowadays. The streets then got kind of you know, I mean, how, how, can, how can you say it? Calm down and then calm down a little bit, but it's, it's getting tough out here though. Over in the Tenderloin, it is a stark lesson in what has not changed in San Francisco. At the city's most notorious drug corners, it is business as usual. Paramedics are still racing to suspected overdoses on the sidewalk. Only now they wear masks. And at many corners, there are still crowds of people packed together with seemingly nowhere to go. The crises that faced San Francisco before the virus have not gone away. So we have got to be really aggressive and moving forward about uh, finding hotel rooms, uh, vacant uh, apartment units and others, even if they're used just for temporary use right now, uh, to get folks out of those congregate living situations off the streets. The city is trying to find space safe individual space for the homeless, but that challenge is no easier today than it was in years past. And a lot of people want to know what happens if this drags on. Where you have these people, they aggressively panhandle and they ask for money. What happens when there's no one in the streets to give them money? What's gonna be, what's gonna happen next? I mentioned safe individual space, individual space. You think about a lot of the folks who have been placed in SROs in San Francisco over the years. Many of those buildings have communal bathrooms, and so there's a concern that the SROs could be uh, not the best place to have a lot of people stacked. You talk about the, gr the normal group shelters, a lot, of folks, a lot of folks sleeping together on a floor. So there are just, just challenges on top of the normal challenges that come with homelessness here in San Francisco. How do you get these people not just sheltered, but sheltered individually to prevent the spread of the virus. Uh, as we keep coming back to, there is no playbook for this. And, and given San Francisco's existing problems, the coronavirus challenge just presents so many more. We are live here in Civic Center Plaza, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5. Yeah, it's overwhelming. All right, Wilson, thank you.